Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shy, but you can call me Shadowcat as the channel name suggests, and today we're watching more community. First things first, happy Community Monday. I hope you guys are doing well today and had a fantastic weekend. We are continuing with season five today. Uh, I think that we are picking up with episode three right now. I just watched the first two episodes of the season. I am enjoying it so far, but I definitely am getting, like I'm understanding why people were saying that it's kind of different from the earlier seasons as well, but I am enjoying it. So I'm curious to see where we go from here. Uh, Jeff is a teacher now at Greendale, which is a trajectory maybe I should have seen coming, but didn't. So yeah, but I am enjoying it. I am enjoying having Dan Harmon back. It is a little bit jarring not having Chevy. Um, I wasn't sure whether they were setting up that last character from the from the last episode to, to sort of take his spot. But it kind of seemed like that at the end of the episode, but I could have been misinterpreting it. So yeah, I just want to jump straight into the episode, so let's do it. But of course, before we do, if you would like to watch ahead, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. I also have all of my uncut reactions to all of these episodes. If that is something that you're interested in, you can find me at patreon.com slash shadowcatreacts. But without further ado, let's get into it. Please stay for Is she reopening Shirley Sandwiches? You were here before. They look so old now. Couldn't look you in the eye. <laughs> Why is this is giving creepy vibes? When it rains, it pours. <laughs> oh my god. Whatever happened to the ass crack bandit? <laughs> so this has been going on. This has been happening. Okay. <laughs> What's known is that around noon yesterday, an unidentified student dropped a coin in another student's, um, you know, upper buttock fold. <laughs> upper buttock fold. That. Is this the return of the ass crack band? Okay, Sounds like it might be. Is it true that after the attack, you received a letter from the ass crack bandit? I never said that, Tim. We did, in fact, <laughs> receive a letter an hour after the incident, including mm, details who's it gonna not be? known to the public about the brand of Garrett's underwear. Hanes his ways. I am the ass crack bandit. Humans make better banks than piggies. Whenever I get more change at the store, I can't wait to drop it down your butt. I think <laughs> Okay, is this going to be a character who we know? From this moment, people, we are at DEFCON 4. If it is, is the highest DEF CON let me think of who I think it might be. Ah, you all remember psychology oh. professor Duncan? Hey, buddy, where'd you go? Oh, I was taking care of my sick mother. She's still alive, but I've put in my time. Britta. <laughs> oh, Pierce, good for you. I always thought that hair piece was a bit cowardly. <laughs> This is the biggest PR crisis to hit Greendale since we held that rally protesting the wrong Korea. Is it? Jeffrey, how can you help? <laughs> okay, my guess right now is going to be Starburns, just because we haven't seen him since he like faked his death. So, just shot in the dark. I sprinted between all three sites. My quickest time was 20 minutes. The ACB did it in 10. So he's got long legs. I think he has something I don't. A shortcut. The faculty lounge. Maybe he has a partner. No way, Annie. Look, the faculty already hates me and the dean signs my paychecks. But this is important. I can assure you that's not true. Hey, Abed. <sighs> Lab ran late. Uh -oh. What did Annie get us for dinner? I hope it's not salad again. <laughs> All right. Talk to you later. <sighs> You're about to be victimized. Well, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I am hereby banning change from this campus. You really I think don't that's know if an effect? That. Well, guess what? Your two senses change and it's banned. Got something. <laughs> oh. Frankie, somebody get me a. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my work again. You can't stop me because what are you going to do? Not have butts? Oof. Dean, I think it's a teacher. It's a point. Exhibit A, exhibit B, la 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 la. If you want to make trouble, go to Parker Brothers. You're out. Maybe the ass crack bandit's point is that we're letting our values slide. Or maybe he's a frat boy coming from the laundromat. The important question is who cares? <sighs> Look. I'd be curious at the very least. Let me know what you need from me. On the down low, way down low. <laughs> and no squealing. <laughs> okay, squeal. Is it gonna be a teacher? That would already put my theory at risk. Four victims have caught the quarter. Not with this no crack. End is... <laughs> oh, oh, sandwich is five dollars. Sorry, no change. Blame the bandit. Here's a song. <laughs> I wonder if they've had any like pop-ups of Shirley sandwiches back in the day. The nature of the ass crack bandit's crimes would suggest that he's angry or just fell in love. We know that he hates money okay. or loves it or doesn't care about money and hates butts or loves them. Very definitive. Abed, you're special. Can't you just stand at the scene of the crime and see what happened? See a man using a social disorder as a procedural device. Mildly autistic super detectives everywhere. Basic cable, broadcast networks, pain. Painful writing. It hurts. Okay, ooh la la. <laughs> I didn't want to take drastic measures, but I've cooked up a little something. Cheng! You better put a quarter in that crack, Mr. Bandit. Professor Hickey? I'm sorry. <laughs> gotcha! Oh, what do you think? I think this is spending too much money on a crime that nets you 25 cents a pop. Ah, da da, this was free. But I think you just admitted you already owned a fake butt. I mean, this is shocking. Great. I mean, why mix metaphors? Ants don't have butts. Wait a minute. Ants do have butts. No, these are Dave <laughs> lyrics. Dave? Dave Matthews. Hardcore fans call him Dave. Oh, excuse me for being alive in the 90s and having two ears connected <laughs> to a heart. Is assemble a list of which Greendale teachers are Dave Matthews fans. Guess we better get to work. Done. Oh, thought that would take longer. <laughs> because a camera in the bathroom bouts briefs buddies the three b's <laughs> and it can be defeated by using the three b's belts briefs and <laughs> buddies good there's safety in numbers <laughs> not vicky keep under the plate <laughs> Extra long churro tastes good in my real mouth. I mean, honestly, I'm kind of impressed. At first, I was skeptical, but the more I see it, the more I like it. The more I'm impressed by it. Oh! He's there! Oh my god, you guys are doing so much damage! <laughs> what the hell? Secretly investigating teachers behind my back? Someone has to investigate the faculty, but you're like a single-celled organism. No nerve. Annie, you're <laughs> suspended. Oh. She was trying to help you. Let me ask you two something. Yeah. Let me be like the 50th person at this school to ask, what is this, huh? What is this creepy business? What? what? I think you two like to partner up on cutesy capers so you can hold hands in the dark and address your urges in semi-acceptable scenarios. Whoa, not <laughs> cool. You not cool. You unprofessional. I'm punishing you, Jeffrey. Starting next week, you are the new coach of the water polo team. <sighs> what? That's right. Does Every Dean have a vested interest in this butt crack bandit? Or is he just, uh... This is the ass crack bandit. Oh. Uh, 
I find it funny that you ever thought you could catch me. Oh, that's very interesting. Please continue. <laughs> I am the bringer of change. I am the filler of cracks. Oh, that's very interesting. I myself was in 4-H. Oh, the bringer of change, the filler of cracks. Creepy. I don't know. Add some doilies in a foot bath and this is my mom's house. Your mom's house is creepy. I regret to inform you. Mush! 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 Yeah! Mush! No gun! <laughs> Mush! Darby? <laughs> has been living in the stable, eating garbage, oh and trying God. to build a cat car. He's also confessed to dropping coins down exposed butt cracks. Oh my God, was I right? <laughs> that was such a shot in the dark. I'm so proud. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, and Jesus. Now it's time to heal. You're all invited to the official We Caught the Ass Crack Bandit dance tonight in the cafeteria. <laughs> I'd be attending. Hell yeah. There's no way Starburns did it. Oh, was I not right? Or maybe the Dean was right about us? Then what is this? It's platonic shoulder holding. Look. It's never really platonic with you two. Leonard, hello. How are you? No kiss. <laughs> we can do better. Yeah, all right. Ah, save your money. Ah. <laughs> Man, <sighs> I was so happy that I thought that I was right. Now it looks like I'm probably wrong. Yes, that is my jam right there. Dave Matthews fan? Obviously you're not. Real fans call him Dave. Wait, who is this? What are you talking about? You don't know who this is? I remember it from the 90s. Mm. Hee ha 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 hee ha ha. It's... <laughs> you're not the ass crack bandit. Shh, keep it down, huh? I made a deal with the Dean. Damn. He said as long as I confess, he'd let me slide on the meth stuff. Yeah, but why call the Dean and pretend that- I didn't call no Dean. I don't call nobody. Don't call me. What is happening? What is this spiraling conspiracy? I use an older British form of Facebook called Mug Scroll. <laughs> I guess I should be going. No, no, stay. We're just getting to know each other. Oopsie. Aren't you going to pick those up? You can turn, Annie, and pick it up without your butt facing him. Just <laughs> down again. Bye! It's Duncan. <laughs> Bloody hell, my shoe is untied by British standards. We go, one bunny. Is he gonna get butt cracked? Get Britta! Oh. Shirley, what are you doing? Looking for you. Tiff, Annie, Pierce is dead. What? Tonight's celebration was cut short. Wait. 14 year Greendale student, entrepreneur, and expert heart attack faker has passed away. For real this time. Pierce. Whoa, they killed him? If you're listening, Pierce, you were a hell of a D&D &D player. <laughs> Time to level up. Up next on the dial is Dr. Ford. <laughs> wow. That's so definitive. That's so final. The case goes cold again. Don't worry. I got a feeling he'll be back. Or her. Mm. 25 cents at a time. He's taking our souls. Ooh. Wait. <laughs> you know that it's right. Oh my god. Why oh why do you suppose only the bandit knows? Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. 
I don't know how to interpret this. Is this suggesting that there are a lot of ass crack bandits? Or is it just supposed to be vague as to who it could have been? To date, no more crackings have been reported. <laughs> Alex Starbucks Osborne, Osborne later recanted his confession. Greendale's official position is that Osborne was the bandit. No investigation is currently open. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god. The cat car. The world's first mm. animal powered vehicle. My A original fish prototype fuel? was hunger based. But sometimes cats aren't hungry. <laughs> My new model will use a rear fixed dog system. All aboard the cat car. And all aboard helping our nation's global warming. <laughs> that uh, dog idea would not work for my cat. There have been at least two times. My cat is, she's a very curious girl and she loves um, running out of the apartment door when she can to like run in through the hallway. It's her thing. And <laughs> you have to make a very, very concerted effort to like, stop her sometimes anyways there have been two times that she's gotten out and somebody there are people on my floor who have dogs and so yeah there have been two times where dogs have um been in the hallway and does she run away from these dogs no what does she do she runs towards them like full speed it's the fucking weirdest thing and it freaks me out i'm like why are you doing this do you want to die I don't get it. Anyway, <laughs> that was a fun episode. I actually kind of like that they left it vague at the end and sort of made it seem like it could have been a lot of different people. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to interpret it as, you know, the ass crack band is a bunch of people or that it could be among anyone. I was hoping to get a resolution, but I also don't mind the open-endedness of it. Like, I think that it lent itself well to the episode. Yeah, I want to say out of the three episodes that we've had this season so far, this one was my favorite. I had a lot of fun with it. But yeah, I enjoyed that episode. Now let's get into the next one. Well, that was a weird afternoon. I guess I knew Pierce- I feel like all afternoons are weird at Greendale. I wasn't prepared for a funeral with so much beeping. Well, let's not judge. Everyone has the right to whatever fake religion they delusionally choose. Okay, Shirley. <laughs> I'm okay. Although... I'm so shocked that they killed Troy and Abed are in mourning. Will you guys please oh. stop doing that? <laughs> I still don't fully understand the laser lotus theology. So, Pierce's body is don't in the Don't try to make sense of it. And we buried it. But this Energon pod contains his life... Vapor? Yeah. Once you reach level 16, you can see the color blurple. Oh, the ridiculous. <laughs> Since if there is a blurple, the Lord keeps it hidden for a reason. What up? <laughs> How's the funeral? Awesome. No, Chang. Our friend's funeral was not awesome. It was deeply sad. Yeah, I'm super shocked that they actually killed him off. That means he can never come back. I don't know. I definitely remember you complaining about him. A lot. If we complained about him when he was alive. This is different. <laughs> He's gone too soon, but won't be soon forgotten. I would say you're quite correct, Mr. Oh. Winger. Oh. I work for Mr. Hawthorne. He specified in his will that no matter how natural in appearance the circumstances of his death, a private inquest should be conducted to determine whether any one of you, his former study group, murdered him. Oh, what? To be cleared, you must Why? all submit to a polygraph test. Oh, no. Historically accurate polygraph tests. Oh, 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 we're losing Pierce. Everyone, quickly. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Someone get a balloon. Yeah, there's like no ending part to the song anymore. It used to go to do, and do, do, but it doesn't do that anymore. I wonder why they changed that. Let's do it. How do we begin? We're going to start with Miss Perry. State your name. Britta Perry. Have you ever had any thoughts of violence towards Pierce Hawthorne? No. 
lie. Can she be I mean, blamed? We don't want to slap him now and again, but I didn't kill him. <laughs> now, all your sexual <laughs> fantasies about Pierce Hawthorne, none of them involved his murder? What? But you have had sexual fantasies about Mr. Hawthorne. No! What kind of question is that? I'm asking the questions just as Mr. Hawthorne. You look, down. you can't control your thoughts, is all I'm saying. Are you gay? No. Are you sure you're not gay? Yes. Gay murder says what? What? He's telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Bennett, hmm? let's take your name. Shirley Bennett. Are you a dishonest person? <laughs> no. She thinks that's true. Uh, you could have <laughs> Is it true that you're a platinum level donor with the pro life organization prenatalpatriots.org? What? Keep it cool, girls. It's my money, it's my choice. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Did you get angry when Mr. Hawthorne told you Fat Albert died of diabetes? Yes, like any American would. Angry enough to murder him? No. Is it true that you had <laughs> doomsday escape plan to be used in the event of zombie attacks? Does your doomsday plan account for the welfare of any of your other friends? Pass? Answer the question. <laughs> I mean, would you be offended? It's fine. <laughs> the horrors we might have to endure just to get on a boat? I guess not. That's a lie. He's doing it again. Pierce is doing it again. Mr. Chang. Driving a wedge between all of you guys. Have you ever masturbated in the study room? <laughs> Did you ever kill a squirrel with a slingshot and were surprised that you felt nothing and wondered if you were capable of doing it to a human? No. Do you and Troy still actively use Jeff's Netflix account without his permission? Wait, what? I mean, why not? Well, I guess you can't do it anymore now that you can't uh, password share. Look, this is not the issue. You're stealing from me. And as your uh, roommate, you're making me an Sharing is caring. Ms. Edison, did you use your exceptional intelligence and organizational skills to plot the foolproof murder of Pierce Hawthorne? Aww. <laughs> is it true that you overcharged Troy and a bed for their share of the rent? Annie? Yes. I padded your share of the rent by $10, and I've been putting it into a savings account that yields 4%. You'll be thanking me in six years when you find out you have $86. That's jacket money. <laughs> you should know better than to hoard money. That's a stereotype. Was that anti-Semitism? No, that's sensitivity. It's anti-Semitic mm. to do things like that when you know full well you're Jewish. Whoa. We could have bought a top. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Uh, man, Pierce is effective. Let's begin. We're ready to begin the formal inquest. I think we're ready to end. We've humored this long enough. Jeff. But it should be noted that Mr. Hawthorne's estate is worth over $20 million, and only those cleared of his murder can receive their bequeathments. I'm only going to say Okay, this. but are they in the will? And I think we're all smart enough to know we should quit while we're not ahead. Yeah, I do believe Yes, you. definitely. They're all lying. We all know that, you judgmental bitch. <laughs> and what sandwich would you order from Shirley Sandwiches? The only one I can, the Helena Soy with no mayo. Helena Soy. Are you aware that in order to save money, Shirley stopped using real tofu and replaced it with a Midwestern tofu substitute called meat Oh, food. no. Oh, my God. Oh. It's still not actually mm, Okay, maybe that's why your business failed, Shirley. I'm sorry! Shirley, did you know that Britta was high on marijuana at your son's baptism? I'm <laughs> sorry? Oh, no higher than usual. Not true. <laughs> no, I did drugs in the parking lot of your church. How else do you expect somebody to... Sorry, I can't blame her. I don't feel like those are equal. I think what Shirley did is far, 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 far worse. Mr. Winger, is it true that you keep trophies of your sexual conquests? <gasps> In a church, Britta? For sure. <laughs> I, I have a box of forgotten items in my apartment. I happen to be a single male. Does he have something from Britta? Is one of your trophies a pair of Miss Perry's panties? <gasps> you told me a hawk stole them! You exploited me <laughs> and made me believe in a slightly more magical world. If you want to... <laughs> Mr. Barnes. Okay, I did it. Okay, I killed Pierce. Lie. Okay. Good. <laughs> did you have a specialized exclusive handshake that you refused to do with your other friends? Absolutely. Mr. Barnes, did you invent that handshake? Yes. Mm, Lie. Where did you get it from? Subscribe to the video blog Fun for Friends. No. 
Lie. Silence, wench! <laughs> Aw, this is actually kind of cute though. Don't forget to rate us, comment, and subscribe. That almost makes me like it more. Is it true that you planted geo trafficking devices on everyone in the group so that you would know where they are at all times? Yes. What? Just use to find my friend, my guy. You're tracking us? We're mad at you, Ahmed. <laughs> Why? Are those blinking dots us? Mm -hmm. What's this one all the way to the side? That's where Pierce is buried. Is it gonna move at some point? Abed, where did you plant these things? If it makes you feel any better, you'll never find them. I know you know it's wrong to do that without telling us. Shame on you! Okay, I'm ashamed. Lie! <laughs> you will secretly dose the members of your study group with a pharmaceutical amphetamine. Oh, uh, I guess kind of. What? It sounds worse on paper than it was. We were cramming okay. for the anthro final. I put five milligrams of something something in your coffee. No, Annie. I was up for three days that week. I invented an entire language, you flitz barping gits gork. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't mess with your brain, Annie. You kind of do. I don't think I do. What about a Facebook boyfriend? <laughs> what? That's different. You made a profile for a fake dude and lured oh, her into no. an online relationship. Oh, no. Oh, no. I noticed whenever you were in a relationship, you hummed a lot and made pancakes in the morning. It wasn't about hurting you. I did what I did in the name of breakfast. I bore my This group of people. <laughs> uh... Britta's the one that invited Garrett to Annie's birthday party. Troy won't sit on a toilet seat after Jeff. When we're alone, Shirley refers to you guys as those people. Oh, when Annie's with other people. <laughs> Shirley thinks we're all going to hell. You are all going to hell. <laughs> We have to stop letting Pierce do oh, this to us. Man. Mr. Hawthorne hasn't asked a question <laughs> in quite some time, Mr. Winger. I didn't just masturbate in the study room. Okay, we don't need an explanation. I masturbated everywhere. Okay, thank everywhere! you. Everywhere! <laughs> oh, God. I mean, I guess what else do you expect from Chang? Par for the course at this point. It's strange, after all these years, how much we've kept hidden from each other. You'd think by now we would have learned to be better people. I think we got into this mess by thinking there was such a thing as better people. I think most people don't do the things that you guys done to each other. So what if we're willing to suffer and inflict pain at the mere prospect of material reward? If we stop now, that doesn't make us better. It just makes it so dishonest mm -mm. that we'd rather be poor than admit we're flawed. I mean, look, we're all flawed, but there are levels to it. Let's empty our tanks of lies once and for all. I'm Jeff Winger, and if I had my choice, I would rather look at myself naked than the women I sleep with. I'm the one who hit Jeff's Lexus in the parking lot. It's giving American Psycho. I've never been to Legoland. I just wanted you guys to think I was cool. I can be passive aggressive sometimes. Okay, sure. Don't everybody disagree at once. <laughs> Mr. Stone, hit us with your grand finale. May it be as brutal as we deserve. Mr. Hawthorne's final round of questions. Britta Perry, do you know that you hate yourself more than you should and that your passion inspired me? Aww. No. To Miss Perry, I leave my iPod Nano. I also leave you this liquid nitrogen cooled cylinder of my hyperviral sperm in case your lesbian lifestyle one day wears out and you wish to raise an army of geniuses. Shirley. All right, that's going straight in the trash. And that I was intimidated by your strength of character and business acumen. Yes. To Shirley Bennett, <laughs> I leave my spacious timeshare in Florida. Where she can take what's his name and however many children she has now. Uh, well, about that. I also leave you a cylinder of my sperm. Oh. Um, did you know that you were always my favorite? You mentioned it once. But... I leave you this tiara, which you once refused to accept. Also sperm. Jeff Winger, did you know you're gay? No. Agree to disagree. <laughs> so that you're less tempted to drink this cylinder of even finer sperm. Okay. Hey, Ben Nadir, did you know that you were insane and nothing that you said ever made any sense to me? Yep. Here's your sperm. <laughs> Did you know Stop. that you possess the greatest gift life can give? <laughs> the heart of the hero. And that it's up to you not to waste it like I did. 
To Troy, I leave the obligatory sperm. <laughs> Maybe it's because everyone else got one, and because it's an old man's semen. But, uh, <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed. In addition, I am prepared to leave Troy Barnes my remaining shares in the Hawthorne Wipes Company, currently oh. valued at $14.3 million. Oh my god. On one condition. You must first sail my boat, the Childish Tycoon, by yourself around the what? entire world. What? When I was 23, my father asked me to do the same thing to earn my adulthood and his fortune. I'd like to give you a chance to do what I never did. Whoa. Is he actually going to do it? I'm a lawyer, Troy. It should be possible to contest these conditions as unreasonable. I'll and do Pierce it. <laughs> oh, shit. What? Pierce was a crazy old coot, yeah, but... I think he knew something about me that even I didn't know until now because he's offering me something I've been searching for. I can't. Life. He's like vials of sperm just on the table. Somebody say something. Ovid? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That's a lie. Hmm. Damn, so what does that mean? And then that sperm came down. Does it, does it mean Troy's gone? Like he's going to leave? At first I was like, ah! But you did it! You did it! It was amazing! You're amazing, man! You're Why did you go out to drinks with this man? I have this idea for a movie. <laughs> it's about this guy who oversees polygraph tests and the biggest obstacle is how good looking he is. People can't... <laughs> By the way, uh, we never found out how Pierce died. Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't tell you yet. It was dehydration from filling up all of those cylinders. I mean, it's how I want to go, but hey, I'm a little nutty. <laughs> Are you guys thinking what I'm I hate thinking? everything about that. Shots! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So... I'm just trying to parse out what that means for Troy. Is he actually going to go on this expedition? I assume so, because why introduce it if not? But also, I mean, there have been storylines where he's stepped up to the plate for things that didn't actually end up having too big of a impact on the story at large but like going out to sea for a year takes his character away from greendale so i wonder if this is actually like a thing that's gonna happen um it leads me to believe that donald glover maybe also left the show and they're writing him out maybe if that's the case that is a bummer because I wasn't, okay, I wasn't, last season, towards the end of the season, I was remarking um, how Pierce kept, like, dipping in and out, and it was strange, to say the least. And then I got, like, a comment basically saying that uh, towards the end of the season, I think that he had quit. So that started to make more sense to me why he was there and then not there. And so I was like, okay, came to terms with that. But I hadn't heard anything about childish... So let's say Childish Gambino. I haven't heard anything about uh, Donald Glover leaving. So I don't know if that's actually gonna, how it's going to pan out. I will find out the next time I watch this, hopefully. But that is unfortunate. He's like, you know, no offense to Pierce, but he's a character that I'm going to miss more if that is the case. And I'm... Not exactly sure what the group dynamic will be like without him because he was such, he was so a part of, you know, the fabric and him and Abed were obviously like their own little duo within the group. So yeah, I just don't know what to expect. That's so interesting. Uh, that aside, I liked this episode, thought it was a good episode. I mentioned it throughout the reaction, but I'm shocked, truly shocked that they actually killed Pierce's character. I was not expecting that at all. I think that most shows like to keep things pretty open 
just in case an actor wants to come back like they'll write them off but they'll do something like they're doing potentially for Troy where they'll just like make him be doing something else on the other side of the planet or whatever but like killing is so finite you know so that was shocking but I think that overall this was a nice episode it was really I mean could have done without the sperm vials but apparently not because that was really integral to the plot it turns out but I thought that the final like note that he left for each of the characters Pierce left for each of the characters was really nice and uh I yeah I don't know I liked the set of, of this episode I thought it was really sweet and uh yeah it was a good episode but I'm gonna cut this video here as always thank you guys so much for watching these episodes with me I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.